passing cars, having fun. Hi, good morning everyone. Just grabbing a couple, uh, grabbing a couple boxes of shoes to go back to the mountains and wrapping up a big week of vertical. We'll talk more about that later. And uh, I'm tired, but this is life. This is training. This is, uh, you gotta put in the work, you know? You gotta try and sleep as much as possible. Last night was a little bit of a late night editing. So anyway, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing the stuff. Uh, grabbing the running gear, I should say, and hitting the ground because we gotta go. We gotta go get some get some more red blood cells in the system. I must, I must say, I uh, <laughs> my clothes are not smelling as good. Like I'm doing the laundry, but I must not be doing something right. Once again, true love's not here, uh, and so I'm just not quite nailing the laundry situation. But hopefully, we figure that out sooner rather than later. Any tips out there? Any tips? But uh, it's just like, I'm putting in the soap, I'm putting in the water. Well, the machine's put anyway. Anyway, all right, let's go outside and... Oh, man. I don't know about all of you, but when I'm tired and I don't necessarily uh, want to leave the house, it's all about getting a shower and then just start driving and having everything packed the night before. That is actually the biggest tip is just have everything ready so that you can just rock and roll as quick as possible because once you get rolling it's a lot easier but it's those first steps that just like starting running yeah i'll have a grande dark roast and a uh, just a venti water did you want any cream or sugar in the dark roast no thanks all right so it'd be 267 at the window all right thanks uh, okay Thank you. Oh yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. All right, grazing Tories, my mountains. Grazing Tories are the uh, names of the two 14ers we're doing today. I must declare, banana time. Just like that, we made it to the mountains. And yes, uh, not sure about these clouds. It was supposed to be crystal clear today according to the weather forecast last night, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll just have to giddy up in the Solomon XA Alpine Pros. There they are, uh, a shoe that, um, I don't know, not a ton of people have talked to me about, but there definitely is some interest out there. Uh, especially in, well, I'll just say, especially in Europe. I've heard quite a few people uh, mention to me that I should give these shoes a shot. So that's what we're doing today on a 14,000 foot mountain here in Colorado. All right, enough talking. I really mean I got to giddy up because I don't know what these clouds are going to do. So we will, uh, we'll get up the mountain with these. All right, come on now. Let's lace it up. All right, quick, uh, quick tip of the day here. Put your running vest on first with no gear in it and then get buckled up, get it so it's not too tight, and then start putting your nutrition in and your gear in um, so that uh, when, it, when the gear is going in, it's actually resting on your body and it's not, and you can adjust as you're putting it on so there's nothing like poking into your body like this gimbal right now that I'm putting in just trying to make sure that it's comfy and resting well against the body so that's something I've learned instead of putting all the gear in as the vest is sitting on the car all right getting there we're almost ready vertical is going to be the key word I'll get you the question of the day on top of the mountain all right let's go
All right, there you have it, everyone. Again, vertical, keyword, question of the day. How do you incorporate vertical and elevation gain into your training? Obviously, and I'd be fascinated to hear from, from everyone who lives at sea level. What's your strategy? How do you approach vertical gain? As obviously, I love it, but it's, uh, it's easier to do when you've got mountains to climb in your backyard here in Colorado. So that's why I have, frankly, more respect for those that live in Florida or, I don't know, Kansas or wherever that's flat around the world when you have to really seek out the mountains, the hills, the vertical gain, the elevation, all of that. So, holy guacamole, that was the top of Tories right there. Just tagged the summit, going back down immediately in the Solomon XA Alpine Pros. Got a lot of thoughts on these shoes, and uh, I believe I was one hour, 26 minutes to the top, so that's, that's pretty good, pretty good. All right, down. There it is. There it is. All right, just putting putting some vertical deposits in the bank. Most especially the checking account. All right. See you at the house. All right, everyone, feeling organized. There we go. The Fuel Cell Rebels. I uh, just published the first impressions if you haven't seen it. I think you're you're going to be intrigued by these shoes. I'm intrigued, very intrigued. Upper right hand corner, if you haven't seen it yet, just feeling organized now after uh, putting the laundry away and bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so today's run was actually 4,900 feet of vertical. I decided not to do grays in order to, so Tories and grays peaks are right next to each other. I didn't do grays in order to save my legs for tomorrow, just a little bit, uh, which is 1,400 meters. And yes, this week was a big week. I don't know, it may have been my biggest week of vertical training ever. Um, I, I've done more vertical in a span of like two days before when Nolan's 14, but this week I did surpass 25,000 feet of vertical gain. Not lost though. Remember I got a, I hitchhiked off of Pikes Peak, so that's good. Saving the legs a little bit on that downhill. 25,000 feet is basically a little over 7,000 7, meters of vertical gain. And uh, listen, less than four weeks. I'm actually very excited about that because I, until Pikes Peak, um, I'm feeling fit. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling not ready. I'm not, I'm not uh, sharpened yet, but I feel, and I listen, we're working on a very condensed timeline. I'd prefer, I think the total training block after I actually really started running again, uh, is it, what was it? Is it about, it's like nine weeks approximately. So we're working on a condensed timeline here. I wouldn't usually recommend to anyone out there doing 25,000 feet of vertical gain in a week. But frankly, I'm testing the waters for someday, I hope, to be a coach. It's probably a decade off, probably maybe even two decades, I don't know. Uh, but that's why I do what I do at certain moments, um, like this week with the 25K Avert. And yes, today's run in the Solomon XA Alpine Pros was very interesting. I'll give you my thoughts uh, later today, first impressions of this shoe from Solomon, which I don't even know if it's available to the public yet, but I'll get you the at least the first impressions there. And rather than repeat myself over and over about uphill training, I'm gonna recommend two vlogs that I've already published in the last six months. Uh, one is about how to run faster, do uphill running, uphill training, get that vertical, upper right hand corner, click on that card that pops out and then just what two weeks ago I published a running uh, uphill technique vlog which actually is getting quite a few views so if you're interested in my thoughts on how I like to hold my hold my form uh, in uphill running go check it out once again upper right hand corner and even though that uphill running hurts oh so bad it's oh so good for your overall not just your overall running and your racing but just your overall health 
like, oh man, I see some 70 and 80 year olds hammering these 14ers and I'm just like, oh my goodness, if I can aspire to be you someday, I like that's one of my goals is to be healthy later in life. And these folks are just pounding ground at elevation, getting their vertical in. So it inspires me. Oh man. All right. See beauty. Work hard. Love each other. Doing some crazy stuff tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss it. All right. See you tomorrow.